This is the Manpack 1 EOD, the battery that's hip mounted, the cooling unit that's mounted on the other hip or on the back. That's the wrist display, that's the feed to the helmet. This is a, a product we developed principally for the EOD community, although it is used by snipers and other people who are needing to be cooled in their micro environment. It's the lightest and smallest man-worn air conditioner that we're aware of on the market anywhere. Um, it provides about 300 watts of cooling and obviously the air coming through the suit is dehumidified. So the first thing that really matters is the visor clears very quickly with dehumidified air. Most suits have a fan that provides some ventilation and they're really good. Some suits have a heated visor but the dehumidified air makes a tremendous difference to the feel that the, the user experiences and the, the clarity of vision is the first thing. The second thing is that your body thermoregulation can function as it's meant to do and the, 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 the difference to cognitive function is enormous. With a heavy suit in 45 degree ambient temperature, most people lose cognitive function in 10 to 12 minutes. With this running, you can be an hour. Now, I think that's extremely unusual. Most people wouldn't be anything like that long actually at an explosive device, but the point is that if you're going from one to another to another through the day, change out the battery, go for another half an hour, you're protected. You don't have to do EOD operations without the suit. Right, so this is the big battery, and we also have a smaller battery. That's good for half an hour, that's good for one hour. This is the wrist controller, which is a touch screen, and you can pull up your battery life and other details on that, but it's intended to be very simple for the user, so they just straight away they can see everything's not nothing red, it's all good to go. As simple as you clip the device on, battery on the other side, hose into the back, hose onto the helmet. It takes about 30 seconds to clip together. We have kits that fit most different suits, so it's possible to apply it to existing kit as well as new.